Hey guys! Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. It is a unicorn look, obviously with this horn, um, for Halloween. So if you like this video and you would like to see more, please be sure to subscribe and let's just get into it! I'm actually going to be using this wig, which is so pretty, I thought. Um, I got it with a few looks in mind. Today we're going to be doing a unicorn look. Um, again, keep in mind I've never done any kind of special effects. Um, I picked up this kit. This is the unicorn or unicorn kit. Um, and so you're supposed to be able to use this part here. You just stick it onto your forehead like um, kind of like a temporary tattoo it says it's activated by water and then the horn will stick into it um, so we will start with that and then because I think I'll have to probably use foundation to blend this skin looking piece into my face um, but we shall see so we'll start with that and then go from there okay I have scissors so I'm going to it says to cut above the plastic bubble, so just I'm just going to cut across here. So the horn is out, and then this is oh, it's like sticky. That is the skin part. Turn FX over and press down onto transfer paper. damp face cloth. So now we are going to peel back this plastic here and then stick it where we want it. So. <laughs> on there now and then I guess just take this horn okay so that seems like it's on fairly well I guess we'll see but um, doesn't give instructions on how to put this in, so I'm just going to assume, hopefully that's correct. Okay, so now on to the makeup. I'm going to start with priming. I'm going to use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I'm going to go for like a really glowy look. I just feel like if a un unicorn was a person, it'd have very like glowing, luminous skin. So I'm going to use two pumps of that. Okay, so now that we have a good glow going on, we're going to do foundation. To continue the glow, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. Um, the one that I have is a little bit dark for me right now, though, so I am going to mix in a little bit of the Revlon Color Stay Makeup. Um, for normal to dry. This one matches me perfectly, even, may even be a little bit too light, so these two together should hopefully 
be a correct color for me. So I'm going to shake this up. This thing feels so weird. So I'm just going to pour some on the back of my hand. And actually before I apply this, I'm going to just do a little bit of color correcting with um, a green shade just on my cheeks to get rid of a little bit of the redness. I always forget to do that before I pour out my foundation, so annoying. Okay, so I'm just using the Cover FX um, click stick or something, I don't remember what it's called. Cover FX correct click in green. I'm just going to take a buffing brush and buff that in. Just to neutralize a little bit of the redness on my cheeks. Okay. And now I'm going to use a pump of the, and a little bit, a pump and a bit of the Revlon Color Stay. As you can see, it's quite a bit lighter than the other one. And I'm just going to mix them on the back of my hand. I just have a little bit of excess foundation left, so I'm just going to take a smaller brush. This is the Morphe E8, and I'm just going to pick up that little bit of extra foundation I have to try and get in details in here. And then I'll go in with concealer. So it's blending in fairly well. I'm just going to use a little bit of this one just to lighten it just a bit. I'm just going to take like a half pump. And then going back in with that Morphe E8. All right, and then I just use whatever was left on that brush, um, like around my nose and areas where I'm going to conceal anyways. Okay, now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 15 Fair. I'm going to do that under my eyes and anywhere else where there's a little bit of redness. I'm going to go for a very flawless, full coverage look. I'm just going to say I do have like foundation or concealer in my hairline here. I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to be wearing the wig so you won't see it. But um, if you're not going to be wearing a wig and doing this, then I would just um, be a little bit more careful around your hairline up here. Blended. I'm going to add in a little, little bit of a liquid highlighter on my cheekbones because like I said, I want to be super glowy. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a cream base, a silver cream base. I just picked this up from the Spirit Halloween store. We're going to use this as a base for all of the metallic shadows and powders that we're going to put on so it looks super metallic. So first we're going to do that liquid highlighter. Today I'm going to be using the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and I'm using the shade Celestial. So the bottle looks like this. 
and these are super metallic they are like liquid metal it comes in a little dropper like this and I'm going to put a drop out on my hand so that is what it looks like and when you blend it out it seriously looks like liquid metal so I'm just going to take that what's left on my finger and dot it along my cheek and up onto my brow bone and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender to blend it out I'm just going to put this little bit that's left on my finger on my nose All right, so looking very glowy now. So now I'm going to go in with this silver cream base. I'm going to put this on the areas where I would normally kind of cream contour um, and like blush and that kind of stuff. And just because I don't know like what this is like, I don't know if it's like really greasy or anything, I'm scared to use my beauty blender. So instead I'm just going to use one of these cheap um, disposable wedges. Just because I don't know how fast this dries, I'm going to start with one side um, and then go on to the other side. So to start, I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Urban Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette. I just got it from Sephora. They were clearing it out because Urban Decay brought out that new full, spe full spectrum. Um, and so they're clearing out this one. So it has a beautiful array of colors in here and so I'm just going to be using some of those. I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics um, contour brush. I usually use angled brushes like this for blush but I'm going to start with that and I'm going to pick up the color Flatline which is this light pearlescent pink here. I'm just going to squeeze the bristles on the brush together a little bit to try and pick up some product. <laughs> So next, I'm going to pick up Backlash, which is this bright pink here. Oops, there you go. So this one here, and I'm going to use the same brush. All right, and next, I'm going to use a smaller brush. This is the M... 437 by Morphe and I'm going to take this color here, this purple, it's called Omen. Cool. So before I go any further, I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eyes. Um, just because I feel like it. Um, so I'm going to use my MAC Pro Emphasize, this one here, just to set my under eye. I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side.
So I've decided to take that pink um, backlash color on this contour brush and I'm just going to put it around my forehead and around this horn. Okay, now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to be a little crazy and do colorful eyebrows. So I'm going to do it with a powder. So I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics First Edition 120 color eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to use this tier here. And I'm going to be sticking in like the rows, these three rows. This one, this one, and this one. So like the pinks and purples for today. For my brows, I'm going to take this color right here. It's kind of um, a magenta. E color and I'm just using a angled brush this is I think from Walmart or something I've had it for years it's by the brand Kala or something Sala Kala it's C-A-L-A -A. so I'm just going to pick that up on an angled brush and I'm going to start with feathering it into my brows <laughs> going to go in to these two colors beside it so they're both more like a hot pink one's blue undertone and one is more of a warm warm undertone and I'm just going to mix them together and again feather them in it's just building up these different shades we'll just add a little bit of dimension <laughs> So I think brows are done. So next, I'm just going to start working on my eyes. Um, and I'm going to continue to use these two palettes, this one and the Urban Decay one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my whole lids. And for that, I'm just going to pick up then I'm going to pick up this brush. It's by Real Techniques. It is the Deluxe Crease Brush. I just find that because it's so big and dense, it picks up color really easily. And to set my whole lid and kind of give it a little bit of glow, I'm going to use this light pink color here, the Flatline one. <laughs> So the next shade I'm going to use, I'm going to use this brush, the Morphe E23, and I'm going to pick up that Omen color, which is this purple one here. <laughs> So what you want to do is just create a shadow on both sides and then just blend it back. And then we're going to build that up. So the next color I'm going to go in is the next purple, which is called Flashback. And this one has some glitter in it. <laughs> falling out okay secure that back in all right and then I'm going to pick up some colors from this palette I'm going to start with this purple shade right here <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with 
this purple right here. Actually, I'm going to mix these two. For the main color on the lid I'm going to take a hot pink and then I'm going to put glitter over top of it um, and so for the hot pink I think I'm going to take this one which is like right in the middle this one right here and I'm just going to use a flat shading brush this one by BH Cosmetics I use it in almost every video because it's my favorite I'm just going to pack the color on Glitter, I'm going to be using a lit kit by Lit Cosmetics. I'm going to be using the Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and the Barber Shops Shimmer Size Number 3. This is a very like opalescent glitter. It's so pretty. It reflects like all different colors. It's a loose, so I'm kind of scared to maybe this is better. Anyways, you'll see when I apply, and so those two come in a kit together in this lit kit as well as a little brush to apply it. So I'm going to start with opening the lit. I'm going to open the base and then just dip the brush in. So I went ahead and applied some falsies off camera. Um, I'm still getting used to applying them, so I've just been doing it off camera until I feel really comfortable with it. Um, but I did use the Ardell Demi Wispies in black. I have a multi-pack here, so that's what I did. Um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight before I add any more color to my face, just to kind of see where that puts us at because it is a pinky color highlight. I'm going to use the uh, Super Shock Cheek by ColourPop in the shade Monster. It's this color here, as you can see, certain angles like here it looks kind of like whitish and then it hits the light and it reflects pink. I absolutely love it, so that is what I'm going to use. So to highlight, I'm going to use this huge Morphe brush, it's the Morphe 500. I love using this because it gets the highlight like everywhere. So I'm just going to coat it generously with this and then apply. I still feel like I need a little bit of a kind of blushy color. So I think for that, I think I'm actually going to use this color in my NARS palette. This is super bright and I never know what to use it for. And I, it is in the shade Desire. So I'm going to pick up this Morphe E3 brush. <laughs> okay, and 
then I'm going to blend all of that out using a uh, dual fiber brush. This is by Sigma. It's the F50. I always use this to blend out my blush and stuff. I'm just going to go back into that highlight and just apply a little bit because I kind of feel like with the blush we lost a little bit. I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to use this one I usually use for my inner corner to get some of the smaller areas. I'm going to use, it's the Morphe E18. Okay, and then I'm going to apply a liquid lipstick. I'm going to use this one by Jeffree Star. It is in the shade Queen Supreme. Mascara out my nose, so that's nice. I'm going to take a little bit of this um, pink and pop it on my waterline. It's the pink that we used um, on the lid. I just took whatever was left on my brush and just kind of patted it onto my waterline. Okay, and now that this is dry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to re-highlight my cupid's bow. And I'm going to just take some of this monster on my finger and pat it onto my lips. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a gloss. Um just because I feel extra. I'm going to use the Sigma, what is this called? Sigma Lip Switch in the shade Double Whammy. So I have to say I absolutely love this. Look at this, like, I don't know if the camera really picks it up, but it looks like an oil spill. It's so cool. So I'm just going to spread that on. <laughs> Hopefully that mascara is dry and I'm going to just take a q-tip and try to roll it off. Yeah, so that came off pretty easily. Um, there's just a little bit of missing foundation. I'm just going to take my beauty blender in there and then I'll just take this because we had blended a little bit down on the sides here. <laughs> So this is the final look pre-wig. One thing I will say is this horn keeps like almost falling out. So if you're going to recreate this, I would like obviously put the skin part on first and then do your makeup and then go and put the horn on because it just feels like it's going to fall out all the time. Um, so I'm just going to put the wig on and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am back with the wig. Um, so this completes the final look again I will say I would put this horn on like at the very end because even just getting the wig on with the horn on was pretty difficult um I think I feel like it's pretty floppy and flimsy I don't know if it's just always like that but anyways um I hope you enjoy this 
tutorial and if you do please be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos from me um if you have any requests please leave them down below and i will see you next time thanks bye Bye. <laughs>